Hey there guys. Today I'm going to make a water tank level indicator uh, of the water level for my culvert cistern. I have a couple plastic tanks that I collect rain out of too and those are really easy to uh, either use heat or tapping on the side to find the water level but this one is pretty much impossible either way uh, just with the metal conducts so well so you can't really tell a heat difference and it's really hard to hear anything. Um, so basically what we're going to do is try to figure out how much water is in this from outside rather than having to use a ladder to climb in the top. And I'm going to try to make the indicator out of an old antique, uh, it looks kind of like a little plumb bob thing, but uh, uh, this was actually my wife's great grandfather's and I got it from her grandfather um, in an old toolbox. So we'll see, I think it's supposed to have copper in it, but we'll see. So stay tuned. Alright, gonna put a handle on here with the washer just to keep the door from going back in. So basically, the washer black does the keep. All right, this is the basic mechanism that we're gonna use for the, uh, the water tank level indicator. Um, basically what we have is some patio rollers that I used for pulleys. This is a counterweight. Um, this counterweight is gonna be inside of the tank along with this float. This indicator is gonna be on the outside of the tank. So the, the wall of the tank is gonna be right here. And basically as the water level rises with that float, that float has a little water in it, it's gonna be about equal buoyancy with the water until it hits the level of the uh, dead airspace in the float. That's going to start floating up and this counterweight's going to go down as the indicator and the float uh, show you basically what the level of the water is. Let's uh, take a look at it, how it works. Uh, this is going to be great for this corrugated tank because it's hard to tap on, on corrugated metal or even feel it for the level of the water. So basically as the water comes in just like this. This float's going to go up, counterweight's going to go down, 
and that indicator is going to show you on the outside of the tank what the water level is. If you can see, this has to be just a little bit heavier when there's no water, so as the level comes down, that indicator shows it. Um, it's a pretty simple system. Uh, just takes a little bit of finagling with the weights. Okay, and we took the uh, the hardware off that two by four and just put it on uh, just some some steel right here, uh, square tubing, inch and a half, um, and we're gonna run this through here. Uh, what I got here is just uh, some heavy duty magnets. Uh, I figured since the top of the lid uh, to the tank is metal. Uh, these magnets ought to do this, and it make it. It should make it pretty easy for maintenance. Uh, that, along with the weight of the pulleys in the system, uh, should keep this in place pretty well. So, we'll take a look at how it fits. Onto the top of the tank, and there's the housing. It's just that square tubing. The pulley wheels. You can see where the rope's going down through these. Uh, these are basically just PVC bushings I made out of three quarter inch pipe, just to keep the cord from getting cut. Um, there's the the final wheel goes down to the indicator and here's that access door you saw me cut um, we can go in here and we can just see the the float valve working and uh, you can see that's about the the water level it's about at that that second seam down so let's take a look and see how it works now all right well we saw the inner workings of it so now let's see it on the outside as we mentioned before uh, this is the first seam. That's the second seam. That was basically where it was indicating it. Uh, so if I pull this down, it should return back to that level. Um, and it looks like it's uh, slowly headed there. So, all right, looks like it works. Thanks for watching.